Have you ever wondered how offshore oil rigs are built, how they function, and how the oil they extract eventually fuels your daily life? Well, buckle up as we unravel the fascinating mysteries of offshore oil rigs. Oil rigs are massive structures that are designed to extract oil and gas from the depths of the ocean. These rigs are built to withstand the harshest conditions, including extreme weather, high waves, and powerful currents. They are also incredibly complex structures that require a lot of engineering and planning to construct and involve a variety of different stages. These stages include design, fabrication, transportation, installation, and commissioning. The construction of deep water oil rigs is no small feat. It requires years of planning, design and construction to create a platform that can withstand the extreme conditions of the ocean floor. The engineering challenges are immense, with everything from the size and shape of the platform to the materials used needing to be carefully considered. During the design phase, engineers and designers work together to create a detailed plan for the rig including its size, shape, and features. This phase is critical to ensuring that the offshore platform is safe and functional. The design phase involves a lot of planning and calculations. The engineers have to take into account the environmental conditions of the site where the rig will be located, such as the water depth, currents, and wave height. The ocean can be incredibly rough, with waves reaching heights of over 100 feet. To withstand this, the platform needs to be designed to flex and move with the waves. While the rig may sway or bob with the waves, the thrusters ensure that it does not move significantly from its drilling location. This stability is essential for maintaining operational efficiency and safety during offshore drilling operations. They also have to consider the types of oil and gas reserves that will be extracted, as this can affect the type of drilling equipment that will be used. Once the initial design is complete, the engineers will create detailed 3D models of the rig using computer-aided design software. Once the design phase is complete, the fabrication stage begins. This is when the various components of the rig are built, including the drilling platform, subsea systems, and living quarters. These components are typically built in different locations and then transported to the site where the rig will be assembled. This requires a specialized fleet of ships and boats to carefully maneuver the platform through some of the most challenging waters in the world. The components are typically built in large, specialized facilities that are equipped with the latest technologies and equipment. The materials used to build these components are also carefully chosen to ensure that they can withstand the harsh offshore environment. After the components have been fabricated, the rig needs to be transported to its final location in the ocean where it will be assembled. This requires a specialized fleet of ships and boats to carefully maneuver the rig through some of the most challenging waters in the world. The transportation process is also highly specialized and requires a lot of planning and coordination. The components are typically loaded onto the transport vessel using cranes and other lifting equipment. Here is a fun fact. Did you know that the weight of an average deepwater oil rig is around 30,000 tons, which is equivalent to the weight of 100 Boeing 747 airplanes? Transporting an offshore oil rig can take several months and requires a massive logistical operation. Once the components have been loaded onto the transport vessel, they are carefully secured to prevent damage during transit. The vessel then sets sail for the site where the rig will be assembled. These rigs have living quarters, kitchens, and other amenities to make life at sea more comfortable for the workers. The installation phase is when the various components of the rig are assembled and connected together. 
This phase typically takes place on site and can take several months to complete. During the installation phase, the various components are carefully positioned and connected together using cranes, welding equipment and other specialized tools. This phase is critical to ensuring that the rig is safe and functional. Once the installation phase is complete, the rig is commissioned. This involves a series of tests and inspections to ensure that the offshore platform is functioning properly and is ready to begin drilling for oil and gas. The commissioning phase typically involves a series of tests, including pressure tests, flow tests and electrical tests. The results of these tests are carefully analyzed to ensure that the rig is safe and reliable. Once the rig is in place, the drilling can begin. The process of drilling to such depths is incredibly complex and requires a range of sophisticated technologies, from the drill bit to the pipes and valves. Every component of the drilling system needs to be designed to withstand the extreme pressures and temperatures of the deep ocean. Here is another fun fact. Did you know that the drill bit used in deep water drilling is often made from diamonds? This is because diamonds are the hardest material on earth and can withstand the extreme conditions of the ocean floor. One of the key technologies used in deep water drilling is the blowout preventer, or BOP. This is a massive piece of equipment that sits on the ocean floor and is designed to prevent oil from spilling out in the event of a blowout. The BOPI is essentially a giant valve that can be closed off to stop the flow of oil in an emergency. Another important technology used in deep water drilling is the riser system. It is a series of pipes and valves that connect the drilling rig to the ocean floor. The riser system is designed to handle the extreme pressures and temperatures of the deep ocean, while also allowing the drilling rig to move with the waves. Once the desired depth is reached and the oil reservoir is accessed, the well is completed by installing production casing, well head equipment and safety valves. Cement is pumped into the well bore to secure the casing in place and isolate the production zone from surrounding formations. With the completion of the well, a pivotal moment arrives, the production phase. This stage marks the transition from exploration to extraction, where the true value of offshore drilling is realized. Skilled technicians and engineers take center stage, orchestrating a symphony of activities aimed at optimizing production efficiency and ensuring safety. Throughout the drilling process, measures are implemented to minimize environmental impact and ensure compliance with regulatory requirements. This includes using environmentally friendly drilling fluids, implementing spill prevention measures, and monitoring wildlife and marine habitats. Once the oil is successfully extracted from the reservoir beneath the seabed, it enters the next crucial stage of the process, processing and transportation. The extracted oil is transported via pipelines or tanker vessels to nearby processing facilities located onshore or offshore. Here, the crude oil undergoes a series of processes to refine and prepare it for distribution. At the processing facility, crude oil is subjected to various separation and refining processes. These include distillation, where the oil is heated to separate it into different components based on their boiling points. Fractional distillation separates crude oil into fractions such as gasoline, diesel, jet fuel, and other petroleum products each with specific applications and market demand. Additional refining processes such as cracking, reforming and treating are employed to further process these fractions into high-quality products that meet industry standards and customer specifications. 
Skilled technicians and engineers oversee these refining operations, ensuring that the refined products meet stringent quality and safety standards before they are ready for distribution. Once the crude oil is refined into various petroleum products, it is transported to distribution centers and end users through a network of pipelines, tanker trucks, and ships. Once the oil is drilled and extracted from offshore rigs, it embarks on the next stage of its journey, transportation. This is where tanker vessels emerge as unsung heroes, facilitating the global movement of oil and refined products to meet the world's energy demands. Towering over the ocean's surface, tanker vessels stand as behemoths of maritime engineering, with massive cargo holds capable of carrying millions of barrels of crude oil or refined products. Loading operations are a carefully choreographed process, where oil is transferred from offshore terminals onto the waiting tankers. Skilled workers monitor the transfer, ensuring that safety protocols are strictly adhered to and that every drop of precious cargo is accounted for. With their cargo holds brimming with oil, tanker vessels set sail across vast oceans, navigating through unpredictable weather conditions and treacherous waters. It's a journey fraught with challenges, yet one that is vital to sustaining the global energy supply chain. These tanks are strategically positioned within the hull, carefully distributed to optimize stability and weight distribution. In response to environmental concerns and stringent regulations, tanker vessels are now built with double hulls, adding an extra layer of protection against spills and environmental damage. In addition to the double hull, tanker vessels are equipped with state-of-the-art safety systems and protocols to mitigate risks and ensure the safe transportation of cargo, from advanced navigation systems to comprehensive emergency response plans, every measure is taken to safeguard the vessel, its crew, and the precious cargo. Finally, the refined petroleum products make their way to gas stations, where they are pumped into your vehicle's tank, powering your daily travels. And there you have it, the incredible journey of offshore oil, from the depths of the ocean to the pumps that fuel our world. In summary, offshore drilling operations involve a series of carefully planned and executed steps, utilizing sophisticated equipment and skilled personnel to access oil reserves safely and efficiently, while minimizing environmental impact and ensuring worker safety. And that's all for today's episode. Thank you for joining us. We hope you have learned something new about this fascinating feat of engineering. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos like this. Until then, peace out!